watching News 8 on WROC. There's always a Rochester connection, and this time it's to the James Webb Telescope. One RIT professor headed the rigorous testing to determine which light detector would work best, as well as the deployment systems. Dan Gross talked with that professor, Don Feiger, as the telescope encroaches upon one million miles from Earth this weekend. To learn more about that part of Rochester in space. Director of the Center for Detectors at RIT, Don Fager, first worked on the James Webb Telescope from 1999 through 2006, back when the project was called the Next Generation Space Telescope. Yeah, so I started in 99 as a young man, and I'm an old man now. So it's taken this long. And when I started in 99, we were told it would launch in 2007. So we're a bit late. He and his team were tasked with testing which of a wide array of light detectors would work best for the telescope. These detectors are similar conceptually to the ones we have in our phone or news cameras, except they are way more powerful. And so the detectors on the James Webb Space Telescope cost around a million dollars each. And they're better in the ability to convert light into a signal. Fager also worked on the deployment procedures, a process so precise it goes light years beyond surgical precision. They're precisely aligned within, say, uh, a ten thousandth of the thickness of a human hair. That's how closely they have to be co-aligned. And once they do that, the light, when it bounces off the individual segments, will come together at a focus and make the most intense image that can be made. The telescope did officially launch on Christmas of last year, and it meant Figer could actually take a deep breath. Re relief. <laughs> it looks like it works. Um, I didn't know the answer to the question, is the thing going to work? So it's crossing your fingers and, and then relief. Figer says that here in this lab, he and the students are using a replica of the detector tester working on the next launch. The only difference, this one is an RIT orange. They're probably working on technology for the next launch 20 years from now. Reporting in Henrietta, Dan Gross, News 8.